the Republic of EZO was a short-lived state established in 1869 by former Tokugawa retainers in what is now known as Hokkaido, the large but sparsely populated northernmost island in modern Japan. EZO is notable for being the first government to attempt to institute democracy in Japan. Background After the defeat of the forces of the Tokugawa shogunate in the Boshin War of the Meiji Restoration, a part of the former shogun's navy led by Admiral Enomoto Takaki fled to the northern island of Izedo, together with several thousand soldiers and a handful of French military advisers and their leader, Jules Brunet. Enomoto made a last effort to petition the imperial court to be allowed to develop Hokkaido and maintain the traditions of the samurai unmolested, but his request was denied. Establishment of the Republic On January 27, 1869, the independent Republic of Izedo was proclaimed, with a government organization based on that of the United States, with Enomoto elected as its first president. Elections were based on universal suffrage among the samurai class. This was the first election ever held in Japan, where a feudal structure under an emperor with military warlords was the norm. Through Hakodate magistrate Nagai Naro Yuki, attempts were made to reach out to foreign legations present in Hakodate in order to obtain international diplomatic recognition. The EZO Republic had its own flag, a chrysanthemum, and a red star with seven points on a blue background. The treasury included 180,000 gold ryo coins Enomoto retrieved from Osaka Castle following Shogun Tokugawa Yoshinobu's precipitous departure after the Battle of Toba Fushimi in early 1868. During the winter of 1868-1869, the defences around the southern peninsula of Hakodate were enhanced, with the star fortress of Goryokaku at the centre. The troops were organised under a joint Franco-Japanese command, Commander-in-Chief Otori Keisuke being seconded by the French captain Jules Brunet and divided into four brigades, each commanded by a French officer. The brigades were themselves divided into two half-brigades each, under Japanese command. Brunette demanded a signed personal pledge of loyalty from all officers and insisted they assimilate French ideas. An anonymous French officer wrote that Brunette had taken charge of everything. Defeat by Imperial Forces Imperial troops soon consolidated their hold on mainland Japan, and in April 1869 dispatched a fleet and an infantry force of 7,000 men to Hokkaido. The imperial forces progressed swiftly, won the Battle of Hakodate, and surrounded the fortress at Goryokaku. Enomoto surrendered on June 26, 1869, turning the Goryo Kaku over to Satsuma Staff Officer Kuroda Kiyotaka on June 27, 1869. Kuroda is said to have been deeply impressed by Enomoto's dedication in combat, and is remembered as the one who spared the latter's life from execution. On September 20 of the same year, the island was given its present name of Hokkaido. Perspectives. While later history texts were to refer to May 1869 as being when Enomoto accepted the Meiji Emperor's rule, the imperial rule was never in question for the Izedo Republic, as made evident by part of Enomoto's message to the Imperial Governing Council at the time of his arrival in Hakodate. The farmers and merchants are unmolested, and live without fear, going their own way, and sympathizing with us, so that already we have been able to bring some land into cultivation. We pray that this portion of the empire may be conferred upon our late lord, Tokugawa Kamenusuke, and in that case, we shall repay your beneficence by our faithful guardianship of the northern gate. Thus from Enomoto's perspective, the efforts to establish a government in Hokkaido were not only for the sake of providing for the Tokugawa house on the one hand, but also as developing EZO for the sake of defense for the rest of the country, something which had been a topic of concern for some time. Recent scholarship has noted that for centuries, 
EZO was not considered a part of Japan the same way that the other main islands of modern Japan were, so the creation of the EZO Republic, in a contemporary mindset, was not an act of secession, but rather of bringing the politico-social entity of Japan formally to EZO. Enomoto was sentenced to a brief prison sentence but was freed in 1872 and accepted a post as a government official in the newly renamed Hokkaido Land Agency. He later became ambassador to Russia and held several ministerial positions in the Meiji government. Enomoto Takaki, President. Otori Keisuke, Commander-in-Chief. Arari Akunuski, Commander of the Navy. Hijikata Toshizo, Commander of the Shinzengumi.